Hey folks, so last week we played around and kind of tested out those closed loop steppers, which were totally awesome. I'm super excited to get them on this mill. But before I start tearing into this mess of wiring that I have here, I wanna go ahead and kind of piece by piece, clean it up. My idea is to, it's still gonna be kind of ghetto. I'm gonna use MDF again, like what I'm using now, but I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the wall. I figure that way it'll isolate everything from vibration. Um, and also kind of elevate it from the chips flying. And it'll be easier to kind of cover up. Um, I'm thinking about kind of framing it in a little bit. Um, still not the best. I'd like to get a metal enclosure. That'll kind of be the, the final phase once I know that I'm done modifying my electronics. But so that's kind of what I'm going to do tonight. I want to try and clean up. I'm going to start with spindle mess right here, which is about 90% of the mess. And then once all that's cleaned up, I'll go ahead and start piece by piece putting in the new stepper drivers and, and taking out my, my old steppers and putting the new closed loop stepper motors in. All right, so I'll try and give you kind of some insight on what's going on with my mill. You may have re or you may recall that a while back, a couple months ago, I blew out the motor control board that sits in the back here. So as you can see, mine is nice and empty. All that's left in there is the little, I don't know, five volt little power supply that powers the fan. Um, but nothing else is in there. Um, and instead I'm using that guy right there. That's the treadmill motor controller. And so you see on the left there, black and red wire coming out, black and red. Those are going to these black and red wires. Focus. There we go. And those basically go directly, those are positive and negative directly to the motor. Um, the only other thing that's plugged in right now to this this um, back of this mill here is the three blue wires. These are your potentiometer wires. But the only reason that's even connected is for a little while before I had Linux CNC controlling spindle speed, I was still using that potentiometer. But this is the end of that and it's just loose and free. So really, I've only got two wires that are going to anything. Um, they're nicely soldered and, and, um, and covered. So I'm going to try and keep them intact because I'm not very, well, I'm, I don't know. It's more laziness. I don't really want to cut it and resolder it. The other ones for the potentiometer are just going to get snipped. And then hopefully we can take, well, not hopefully, we're going to, and take this box off of the back of the mill as well as this box off the side of the mill because we don't need that one either. Um, absolutely nothing. This is worthless. It's not hooked up to anything. The potentiometer does nothing. Like none of that's doing anything. All that's happening is those two wires are going through this loom down into this box and then they're going through this loom up to the motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and eliminate some of that stuff, free up some room, clean up the mill a little bit, and then we'll start cleaning up all these wires. All right, so I popped this side cover open and like I said, I got a black and a white wire coming from this back box coming through the loom and then just should be looping down here. First thing I pull out is a black and a white wire and they just got a little connector there. So that's pretty convenient. 99% sure those are my wires. So I'm just gonna disconnect them, grab my multimeter, check for continuity, just to make sure that it is indeed the right wire. And if that's the case, I'll just disconnect them. Basically pull these boxes off, reconnect that. And uh, basically well, I'll clean up the loom as well. And we should be good to go. All right, so I went ahead and checked it with my handy dandy multimeter. These two wires have continuity with the two wires connected directly to my um, treadmill motor controller. So they are DC plus and minus going to the motor. So I went ahead and I unbolted this thing. Um, now, whoops, screws are falling out. There it is, that's that one that I couldn't get to. Um, now the trick is we're just gonna disconnect this little guy which I already had disconnected. I don't know why I reconnected it. And then to undo, kind of dark in there, but just got to undo these little bulkhead fittings. They're just threaded. And 
There we go. Oh, this one has a green wire too. There's always got to be something that has to make things difficult. So that green wire, I think, is grounded to the back of the mill. So we will need to, and it doesn't have a little connector in this one. So that was nice of them. So yeah, we'll have to figure out the green wire, probably unbolt it or unscrew it from the back of the mill, feed it through the big harness up here, this big harness, and then feed it out this, the top here. And once that's done, I think I can leave the rest of those wires how they are because I'll be removing the back panel with it and they can just stay together as one piece. And we should be good to go. The mill's gonna get a lot smaller. So it happened again. Just to make that one green wire come out of that harness, all right, it wouldn't pull out by itself. All the wires had to come with it. So now here I got a harness, but I got the green wire out. <laughs> Hopefully I never have to use this stuff again because I will be using my multimeter finding which wire is which throughout the whole harness. Cause there's a lot of, there's like four black wires and a couple white wires and some splice into each other and it wouldn't be fun. So hopefully we're good. <laughs> um, yeah, but we got what we needed out of it. I guess I need to get this black and red wire out of there cause that's the wires that I'm feeding it with, but that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. And it needs to come the other direction out this way. One at a time is probably best. Oh, look at that. It's coming right out. There we go. There's one. Second one is the white one. Okay. So this is disconnected and I do not need it anymore. Yay! Look how clean that looks. It looks like a little baby. No baby mill. Next step is to take that back panel off. We don't need that either. So once we had all the wires pulled out of this box, um, they were coming in here. It really came down to four screws mounting it and one ground wire, this guy, that went through here and into the back of the mill. So this was cake to take off. So now, man, my mill's starting to look efficient or naked. I don't know, however you look at it. But yeah, these two can go away. Maybe wipe up the shavings that have gotten in between the, the case there and the mill. I really want to paint this thing a different color so it doesn't look so Harbor Freighty. One of these days. All right, so now, man, that thing looks so little, doesn't it? Can't get over it. Doesn't look as robust, that's for sure. Starting to see why it chatters everywhere it goes. <laughs> so that's pretty much tear down for now. So the next step is gonna be to kind of lay out our motor control. And I wanna cut, hold on. So this board right here is going to be the new piece of MDF that I'm gonna mount everything to. It's a little bit narrower than the last one but I think that'll actually work out pretty well because I can stack, you know, power supply is probably on the bottom, power supply, power supply, driver, stepper driver, stepper driver, stepper driver, you know, and then have maybe an entire like section just for the spindle control. So, you know, spindle, motor, driver, and then all the little, little stuff that I put together to get that PWM signal to work. So I think that'll work pretty nice and then use some of the rest of it because it goes down to the floor here, it's a big piece. Use some of the rest of it to kind of make some walls on it and frame it in. And then maybe put like a, what is it, plexiglass or whatever, the, or I don't know, that plastic, clear plastic stuff. 
put a piece of that over the top of it so it keeps all the shavings out. And I think it'll be pretty nice. Um, you know, nice enough for now until I get sick of it. So for now, I think it's going to come down to playing with how I want everything to fit together now. Now, I went ahead and mapped out kind of what I think I want to do. So I don't know how good you can see that, but I've kind of got little squares drawn out, labeled, measured where I'm going to put everything. And so my original plan was to try and just get the spindle control on here, um, just because that's all that mess. But I'm having trouble, you know, really breaking it apart because the breakout board goes to everything. And so it's like, at what point do I just bite the bullet and do this? And I think honestly that time is now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping into this guy back here, um, get it torn apart, start mounting all the stuff, um, take some pictures before I tear it apart so I remember how it goes back together and uh, hope for the best when it all goes together. I mean, I've already bench tested one of the steppers. It's good to go. So, I mean, it's not like I haven't done this before, so it should be fine. It's just I hate tearing apart stuff that works. Ah, we'll get it. So I think that's where I'm going with this one now. All right, I think I'm going to change my plans for tonight. Um, I went ahead and got super duper dusty. I don't know if you can see my pants and my shoes, but yeah, I'm little coated because I was cutting out all this stuff. So now I've got kind of a little frame there. Um, and that way hopefully later on I can put like some type of glass over it. And it'll be nice and clean and enclosed. Um, the only thing I don't like about the wood is in case of a fire it is flammable. So um, I'd like to get it in a metal enclosure so it's, nothing is combustible. Um, so yeah, cut all that out. This this guy's still together over here um, for now, but it'll be apart probably tomorrow morning. It's getting late. So I think right about here is where I'm gonna call it quits this week. Um, that way I can kind of record things as I go and not have to be super duper rushed, but it is coming along. And I think next week, be prepared to see some closed loop stepper action.